Hello YouTube. Today I got something special uh, I'm gonna cook for you. It's called BCS chicken. You go, what is BCS chicken? Well, the BC stands for beer can chicken and you all know what that is. I know there were several of those uh, on the uh, channels last week and I was gonna do one and several people beat me to it, but I'm just going to add a little twist at the end of mine. So, if you want to know what the S stands for, for BCS chicken, stay tuned. Uh, I've got two chickens here, and I've uh, trimmed them up. I washed them real good, dried them off, and I salt brined them. Uh, they've been in a salt brine for probably about two hours. So what I'm gonna do next, I've got some t Tony Chatteries, that's how you say that, I've never used it. I know it's a marinade, this is, but it's got some uh, oil in it, and I'm gonna use this as a binder for my little bit of rub I'm gonna put on it. So I'm going to continue with this and uh, I'll be back in just a minute with the rub. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some rub on this chicken. This is a rub I've used before, I put together and I'll post it, uh, I've posted it before. It seems to work out good on uh, pork and chicken. So we'll just sprinkle a little dust on it. Put the salt brine on this chicken to uh, dry out the skin a little bit so it'll be, won't be rubbery. I uh, got that from uh, Azrael's Barbecue. All right, I'm using Canada Dry ginger ale. I'm using half a can. Meet you outside at the grill. Okay, we're outside at the gas grill. Yeah, we starting out the first step on the gas. That's the BC part, the beer can chicken. I'm gonna use this to get up to 150 degrees. And then that's where the next step comes in, the S part of the BCS. Okay, we'll let that start getting up the temp and we'll put our chicken on. Stand by. Stand up there, boy. Let me get a probe so I'll know when this thing reaches uh, 150. Let me just stick her down right there. Let it come out that hole where there normally be a rotisserie. Okay. Turn these down to a low setting, low and slow. All right, we'll put her to bed. That is the BC part of BCS chicken, beer can chicken. Stay tuned for the end result in the second step. Okay, I want you to see some sauces that I found at the Piggly Wiggly. Um, I know about the CHS, but I've never shown it to you. Never. It's made in Florence, and this homemade Uncle Albert's, I haven't tried it before, but it comes from Darlington, which is about 10 miles from Florence. It's local. All of these are local. That's a sweet sauce. It's very similar to CHS, but it's sweeter. And these two are new ones that I just found for the first time. But they look like they would be real good sauces. All of them are vinegar based sauces. That's the way we roll around the PD area here in South Carolina. I'm going to use CHS on one of the chickens. And I'm going to use Uncle Albert's uh, on the other one. And we'll see how uh, they turn out. Alright, 
Be okay. back in a bit. It's been just 37 minutes and it's already 99 degrees on the meat. I'm going to hit them with some apple cider vinegar. I love the flavor you get out of this. Okay, we'll put her back to bed and wait for it to get to 150. Then we go to step two. All right. 150 degrees over there on the chicken. I'm spread these coals out. Be too hot in here. Let those settle down a little bit. It's been an hour and 40 minutes. All right, folks, here is step two of my BCS chicken S being spatchcock. Now we're getting some. Take the old backbone out. How about that? The reason I'm doing this is because it's so hot out here. 95, uh, humidity is probably 100, and it's really miserable. So what I wanted to do is get the best of both, best of both worlds and where I could set it and forget it on the beer can chicken, you know, that's about the easiest thing you can do. Put it on the racks and you just let her go till it reaches 165. Well, the chicken is at 150. So I like, see, there's no sauce in here. There's no sear in there. You know, if you like the nice white meat, moist, tender, this is fine. I like my meat seared with barbecue sauce. That's why most people quarter it or half it spatchcock it. So what I was gonna do is do it the first uh, hour and a half here and finish up on the old all-set cooker set up as a charcoal grill. Stand by. I've got my chicken on the charcoal grill. It's actually my offset. And uh, I got the Uncle Albert's on this side and the CHS sauce on this side. We're going to test those out today. And uh, I'll have to turn them frequently. And I got my second uh, slide out in and got it up high enough to where it won't burn. So we'll check back on it in a minute. Good to go.
Done. Meet you inside. All right, guys. Whew. That was a hot cook. I thought I was going to slip one bite by using the beer can chicken first. And it did help, but when it's this hot, you ain't going to get away with nothing. You're going to be in it. But anyway, we got her done. Uh, and I used two different sauces. Check out that chicken. Um, trying to think now. Okay, this is the CHS sauce on this side. This is the Uncle Albert's, and it's a little sweeter sauce. So we're going to do a little taste test. All right. I can... Uh, All right. That vinegar based sauce, I think the CHS sauce, and I think both of these have some mustard in it. I don't know if it's called a mustard base. Might be. But that's good. That's what I remember. I hadn't used it in a long time. Let's make another cut here. This is Uncle Albert. I like when that sauce gets down in that skin and you get a lot of flavor out of that. Alright, Uncle Albert. That's good too. It would be good actually to mix those two together. To give the CHS a little a little sweet, but um they're both real good sauces, both vinegar based. So that is the BCS chicken, beer can spat cock. <laughs> I believe I got spat cocked. <laughs> uh, you know, I like barbecue sauce and I like, I like beer can chicken okay, but you know, it's just moist, tender meat and you don't get much of the sauce once you tear it up and uh, open it up so and that's why most people cook the chicken in quarters and in, uh, in spatchcock chicken they half it up where you can get the sauce in the sear anyhow that is my cook for today i'm worn out i'm hot i need to drink a lot of fluids i know that but um I'm glad you joined me. If you like what we're doing, I uh, appreciate it if you'd like this video. If you watch it, please hit the like button. It won't cost you anything. <laughs> and uh, if you, if you want to see more, subscribe and you'll get notified when I make a new video. And uh, I appreciate you watching. And until next time, Phil in Florence. <laughs>